Hi, uh, I'm Dr. Purna Kashyap, uh, an assistant professor in the Department of Gastroenterology and part of the microbiome program uh, at the Center of Individualized Medicine at Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. We did the study uh, in collaboration with Dr. Justin Sonnenberg's laboratory at Stanford University, and this was led by his graduate student, Samuel Smith. The gut microbiota play an important role in the normal functioning of the human body and is being increasingly implicated in diseases both within and outside the gastrointestinal tract. We now know that both the composition and function of gut microbiota is influenced to a large extent by diet. In fact, the consumption of complex carbohydrate is associated with greater diversity of bacteria within our gut, which we now believe to be protective in our health. A change in diet can result in a significant change in microbial population as early as 24 hours. Hence, dietary intervention is an attractive option to alter gut microbiota and conditions where we think they're contributing to a particular disease state. In fact, this led us to ask the very important question, does the gut microbiota play a role in individual specific responses to dietary intervention? As a pilot study, we modeled the gut microbiota from three individuals into germ-free mice, which lack any indigenous bacteria, so they were able to adapt to the new microbiota which was transferred to them. It also provided us with a control setting, allowing us to investigate microbiota-specific effects of a defined dietary intervention, which in this case was with a microbiota-accessible carbohydrate called fructooligosaccharide or FOSS. So our findings showed uh, that there were individual specific and predictable changes in microbial composition and glycosid hydrolase functional capacity following the introduction of FOSS diet, as you can see here. The magnitude of composition changes were not mirrored by the magnitude of changes in microbial function as represented in the fecal metabolome. Moreover, many compounds showed individualized responses with significant differences based on the microbial community features. The study also demonstrated that while compositional features may be predictably altered, functional states are less so. So while these studies still need to be confirmed in a larger cohort, the major take home points from the study would be being narrowly focused on microbial composition may not be sufficient. The potential functional divergence of similarly composed microbiota, and conversely the possible functional convergence of dissimilar communities stresses the importance of assessing both microbiota composition and function. And the second more important point here is that one size doesn't fit all. The responses to interventions, especially dietary interventions targeting the microbiome, appear to be based on an individual's microbial community. The study further highlights how microbiome is an important part of the precision medicine tools needed to individualize treatment and improve patient care.